Hey guys, Level Cap here, and today we're going to take a look at the Medic class in Battlefield 1, and this is definitely a class you're going to want to understand, because obviously the Medic is the only class in the game that can heal and revive squad mates, but he doesn't have the same sort of arsenal that the Assault class did in Battlefield 4. Now we still have a 4 class system, but oddly enough we've sort of lost the Engineer in a way. What's really happened is the Assault class has kind of become the Engineer, except without the ability to repair vehicles, only destroy vehicles. And then the medic class is sort of taken over for what the assault class would be, but it no longer has the all-powerful assault rifles that it did before, or grenade launchers, or that kind of thing. What weapons does he get instead? Well, primarily semi-automatic rifles. You could equate them to DMRs from Battlefield 4, but some of them can actually be switched into a fully automatic fire mode. They don't shoot incredibly fast, but it, they're sort of supposed to be like the prototype assault rifles, if you can think of that. They're not going to be anywhere near as effective as assault rifles were in, say, Battlefield 4, and you can can't really play this class in the exact same way. You are going to lose to the Assaulter classes in extreme close range. It's not to say that you can't beat Assaulter classes or that these rifles in full auto mode aren't something that you should be afraid of, but you will lose out to SMGs and shotgun at extreme close range. It's just nice having that option of a full auto fire mode in case you actually have to get up close and personal. In the closed alpha, there's three different models of guns, each with two different variations. There are six in total. I covered sort of what guns these were in my weapon breakdown video, but three of the variations can be switched into fully automatic fire mode. The only rifle that doesn't have uh, full auto uh, available at all, regardless of the variation, is the Mondragon, which uh, was the rifle with the scope that I was using at the start of the video. Now, as you might expect, the damage models will be balanced according to the abilities of the weapons. The Mondragon, for example, has the best uh, damage at range compared to any of the other rifles out there. I think it'll perform very, very similarly to a lot of the popular DMRs from Battlefield 4, giving you, for the most part, like a three-shot kill um, at further ranges with that scoped rifle. And then when you switch up to, say, an iron sights rifle like the M1907 here, which has, I think, a 21-round magazine. It might be 20-round mag with one in the chamber. I'm not 100% sure. Some of the World War I weapons worked a little bit differently. But uh, this one here fires a lot faster. It's got a larger magazine capacity. It does good damage in close quarters uh, compared to the other ones, but uh, the damage drops off significantly at range. And paired with the iron sights, it kind of draws you away from going for targets that are too far away. Uh, these are some interesting rifles for sure. It's, it's a weapon class that hasn't really existed in other Battlefield games. Very, very slow firing automatic like DMRs. You know, it's, it's sort of a weird thing to get used to, but once you sort of get a hang of it, uh, you realize when to use it and when not to use it. Obviously, firing them in full auto absolutely wrecks your accuracy. The spread on these weapons just grows insane. So uh, it's not good for precision shooting when firing in full auto, but it's the option that you have available to you when somebody just pushes up and gets too close. And even though I was able to play the game for quite a few hours at the EA Play event, getting a feel overall for how the medic class is going to balance when compared to other infantry classes is kind of difficult. I mean, if you like DMRs from Battlefield 4, you might really enjoy this class, but it does take a little bit of practicing with it just because the accuracy of the weapon does uh, go way out of whack much faster than I think you might expect it to compared to Battlefield 4 gun mechanics. I think overall I had the most playtime with the Mondragon because uh, I just really liked having that scope. It made me uh, much more effective at medium range. It felt more like an actual DMR since using the iron sights at further ranges is really difficult. Um, if I I had a choice to play a little bit more, I'd probably start testing out the M1907 full auto version a bit more and just like using that in close quarters just to get a better feel for it. I didn't get enough time using the weapons in full auto and unfortunately uh, the footage I have here today, I don't really have any examples of the full auto stuff. I did get to test it out but uh, the footage for that is uh, under an embargo right now. So in the future you will get to see it but at the moment not quite yet. And you might have caught that little revive back there. There is no charge up time as far as I can tell with the syringe. I think it's 100% revive, which is good. I don't like the charge up time mechanic in Battlefield 4. I think it just allows for too many players to kind of steal a revive for you by reviving somebody at 20% instead of charging up for the full 100%. So ultimately, I think this will be a better mechanic. You'll also notice that there is actually an ammo capacity for the syringe. 
Uh, they may actually be using this to try and limit how much you can revive or how quickly you can revive soldiers. I don't know if it's actually implemented in the game yet. I didn't notice any sort of limitation, but it would be kind of interesting if they added a mechanic that was like, hey, you can revive two guys, but then you got to wait for your syringe to recharge or you have to go get more ammo or whatever like that. Just to keep uh, one guy from reviving like five or six people who just got wrecked, you know, it seems a little bit overpowered that one dude can bring like a whole army back to life in like half a second. So uh, I wouldn't mind seeing that kind of change and hopefully it's something that they're already working on. Now you may have noticed that I've been throwing down little med packs to heal up as I've been playing here. They work very much like the little med packs from Battlefield 4. You kind of suck them up as you run over them and then they heal you over time. I believe there will also be a med crate in the final release of the game um, as far as what I've understood from talking to developers. Again, this is alpha, so so much of it is early. Uh, the mechanics are not even finalized for a lot of the game yet, but uh, I do believe we will have two different types of med crates or med packs. Now we're going to switch over to a little bit of Mash State's gameplay here. Another YouTuber, if you don't know who he is, you can check out the link in the video description. He's given me a whole bunch of his video footage that I've been able to edit in with my own to get more examples of gameplay. And he's using the Mondragon here with a different optic style on there. So if you didn't want that magnified optic and you wanted a Mondragon set up a little bit differently for a different type of combat or ever so slightly different type of combat you can pick a different setup and this one comes with sort of these interesting irons here uh, and there's a bunch of guns that have interesting iron sights in the game um, I imagine that most of the iron sights in World War one were sort of the more traditional style iron sights where they don't float very high off of the gun but I'm sure there was some sort of prototype or interesting stuff going on and dice as we have seen is throwing in a lot of the cool prototype technology now there was a way to switch between magnified optics and the iron sights that were mounted on the weapons because uh, if you take a look at the guns all the magnified optics in the game are sort of offset to the side of the weapons allowing you to sort of still aim down the iron sights that are mounted on the weapon which is cool. Um, I don't know if you can do it with the Mondragon here. I imagine that you can. None of us could actually figure out how to set this up. We only did it by accident every now and then because the key wasn't uh, key mapped properly in the control setup while we were playing. So we didn't really know how to switch between the site options, but that's just kind of a cool aspect to the game. Um, you might have it by default for pretty much any weapon where you're using a magnified optic. You'll always have the option to switch back to irons. I mean, I don't know this 100%, but I know that it does work with a lot of weapons like that. Now, aside from the med pack and syringe, it is fun to try and theorize what some of the other gadgets might be. We already have pretty good intel that the assault class is probably getting dynamite as one of its other gadgets. We weren't able to use it in the closed alpha, but I imagine that's coming at some point in the near future. But what else might the medic get in terms of gadgets? I mean, what did the medic or the rather the assault class get in Battlefield 4? Well, it sort of had a grenade launcher style weapon, but it might not get that in Battlefield 1 considering I don't think they really had grenade launchers. But somebody did post an interesting image showing off um, sort of prototype of rifle fired grenades that were around in World War 1. That would be a very interesting option and it would kind of further bring the medic towards what the assault class was from previous games which uh, it sort of seems like they're trying to go for that anyway since the semi-auto rifles here that some of them have the full auto options were kind of the assault rifle prototypes anyway. So it really is sort of like the medic class is trying to be somewhat in line with what the assault class was from Battlefield 4. So a rifle fire grenade would be even more in line with that sort of whole theme. Now ultimately I'm quite happy with the way that the medic class plays out right now. I will say that the weapons are way less powerful than you would expect them to be compared to the Battlefield 4 assault class and I think that this is a good balance change because if you looked at like say competitive Battlefield 4 play there's very little reason to use anything other than the assault class because you could revive you had the best guns in the game it was just a weird balance dynamic there was like virtually no reason to use any other class and now that the medic class in battlefield one does not have the best guns in the game or it has weapons that are best at medium range and still require a lot of skill to use it's a nice balancing factor considering how insanely powerful healing and reviving is in just a general mechanic Anyway, that wraps it up for the medic guide or medic overview for Battlefield 1. I'm sure a lot of mechanics and stuff will be changing from alpha to the final game. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.